Welcome to the fourth edition of the South Africa Italy Summit and Indaba right here in the heart of Gauteng province will be incisive, insightful, as well as useful content, knowledge sharing and information on what we can do better and what we can do in abundance between the nations of South Africa and Italy going into the short term as well as into the long term future. Today's summit is a testament to what happens when a vision is combined with action. And those of you who are gathered here today know very well that Italy is one of the top investors in Africa as a region as a whole, with total trade that well exceeds um, 6.3 billion rand. So we are really grateful for our host's contribution, the European House Ambrosetti Group, who are represented by their group executive, Mr. Valerio De Molli, who will share some of his thoughts with us through this morning, as well as his team that many of you today have already met and will continue to interact with as the, over the next two days and as this summit continues. The, Umbr the Umbrasetti Group, the European House Umbrasetti Group, as many of you will also further appreciate and know, is the number one private think tank in Italy. And it's wonderful to see the think tank use its capability, use the type of knowledge that it's able to gather and share it with you and I, investors, business people, those who are interested in the economy as well as growth, not just in Europe, but also in Africa. And more importantly, use this content and knowledge and the research that the think tank is able to constitute to help us drive better economic growth. Now, to those of you who have not met me, my name is Lynette Ndouli, and um, I will be your, moder your moderator, your facilitator, your timekeeper, um, right throughout the two days. And I will also invite each of you, members of the audience, each of the members of the various roundtables and the panels that I will be steering and sitting with to share, to share your thoughts, to share your experiences, to share your aspirations, to share your ambitions, as well as to share what it is that we can do to collaborate well past the summit. So that by the time we return for the fifth summit in the year 2018, we have deliverables, we have tangibles, we have projects that are well in progress, and we have something further to show from this partnership that has already yielded quite a number of results. You will see many of those results in the collateral that's already been given to you as part of your delegate packs here today. To those of you who exist, not here, just physically with us, but also out in the, in the internet of things and the stratosphere of social media, you are more than welcome to follow the European House Ambrosetti Group's um, handle, the Gauteng government handle, as well as use our hashtag for today, the SAIT hashtag in particular, to share your thoughts, to share the ideas, as well as what's going on in the room right here today with those who are not perhaps able to join us. Um, as we go on, ladies and gentlemen, and I was reading more and more about this um, summit today, I certainly found that South Africans and Italians have many things in common. We're a people with a taste for life. We love community, we love family, we love music, we love culture, we love football, and we have a common love for carbohydrates. In South Africa, it may be pap, in Italy, it may be pasta. And therefore, it's fitting that to this eclectic mix of shared common interests, as well as loves, that we add the economy, we add growth, we add infrastructure, innovation, and look at many different ways in which we can collaborate, as well as create in inclusive models for economic growth between our two countries, but also between our two regions as a whole. So thank you again to the partners to this convention, the Gauteng government, as well as the Ambrosetti Group this morning, for taking the partnership agreement that was signed in 2012 and of, and of course mobilizing it into the action as well as into the summits that we are now part of today. Now to answer a few questions this morning that you may have, particularly those of you 
who are first time attendees to the summit today. I am surrounded by an illustrious panel this morning of leadership, as well as incisive thought leaders who will share not only on the vision, as well as the key features and outcomes of this particular summit, but will also share on the state of the economies of both regions and both countries, as well as the role, the further role, that the collaboration between the public and the private sector can ensure that we all take to ensure that we can see the results that will come of this summit. So first to the lectern this morning, I would like to welcome our host this morning, the managing partner and CEO of the European House Ambrosetti Group, and Mr. Valeria de Mole. Please give him a very warm South African welcome. Thank you very much, Lynette, for your nice introduction, and thanks for having decided to share with us your time uh, for the fourth edition of this summit. Uh, dear ministers, dear ambassadors, dear CEOs, dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fourth edition of the European House Ambrosetti Summit, uh, Italy, South Africa. Uh, the European House Ambrosetti, uh, as uh, Lineto already mentioned, has been proudly nominated the first Italian private think tank. We are in the number 10 in Europe, and we are among the top 100 most respected independent thinkers globally out of 6,800 6, um, think tanks that are mapped by the University of Pennsylvania. We do present every year more than 100 strategic reports and studies, uh, and we do have about uh, over 200 people, and a number of them have been involved with the platform here in South Africa. Let me thank very warmly the president of Gauteng, David Makura, uh, the premier of Gauteng, for hosting us, us in its province, uh, in its uh, uh, fantastic region, in its uh, uh, region rich, rich of opportunities and in these outstanding venues. I must say that uh, uh, myself and all my colleagues, when, whenever we are here, we feel at home. And David, when you recommended, that was four years ago, to move from Cape Town to Johannesburg, I think you, uh, you saw it right, and we are proud that we accepted your invitation. And thanks to you, to all your staff, and to all the dynamic uh, support that we've been receiving. Um, and so, thanks, really. Thanks also to the uh, ministries and the governments here represented from Zambia, Zimbabwe, Namibia, Botswana, and South Africa. And this, this is also the demonstration that the summit is embracing larger corporations, uh, Italy, Europe, and uh, South Africa, SADC countries, and Sub-Saharan Africa countries. And talking about SADC, uh, I want to uh, compliments and thanks also Ms. Stergomena Tax, the Executive Secretary of SADEC, for being here with us and sharing her views uh, with our community uh, this morning. Uh, then Marcus Cornaro, Ambassador to the European Union, for all the support. And I would like to mention the recognition that he gave as European Union to this summit as a unique international annual gathering taking place in South Africa organized by the first and only organization belonging to a EU member state with the aim of developing a platform for European, Italian, and African South African companies. And this is a very nice recognition and I thank Ambassador for this uh, uh, mentioning. Thanks to our advisors, a number of them are here with us in the room, and to our partners. Without our partners and members of the community support, we would have not be in a position to actually do this fourth edition. So let me very warmly thank BBM Law, Building Energy, uh, Magneto Automotive Group, PEU Group, Transnet, Terna Group, Ferrovie dello Stato Italiano, Afric Oil, Ital Tile, CTM, and of course the Gauteng Growth and Development Agency. I think they deserve an applause because without their support, we wouldn't have done this. 
And then last but not the least, thanks to the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Embassy of Italy in Pretoria, the Embassy of South Africa in Italy for the patronage of the event. And last but not the least, uh, my working team, uh, headed by Paolo Borzatta, uh, with Marina Mira Dercoli and all the other 30 colleagues that uh, made this possible. A special final thanks to Maurizio Mariano for his support. That was uh, uh, unbeatable, uncountable since the very beginning, and uh, to our partner here in South Africa, Nico de Kock, uh, with enthusiasm and great passion, they allowed us to make it happen. Uh, I don't want to indulge uh, too much in celebrating the first edition of our summit, uh, but just want to recollect a few uh, numbers and few background information about, about uh, the area generally. Uh, after a slight decrease in GDP, we are now uh, recording a rebouncing in, in the growth and the IMF forecasts are all for the area between 3.5 and 4% growth uh, annually from now to, to 2022. And the SADC countries, we have calculated, they will add an additional $220 billion to the GDP growth in the next uh, five, six years to come, which is a very relevant uh, uh, output and, and growth support. Uh, FDIs, as Lynette already uh, mentioned, are also very relevant. We are talking about, for the entire area, over $600 billion in 2016, half of uh, which is attracted by SADC countries, and they are expected to grow another 10% in 2017, and generally uh, the economic conditions are looking better and better. Uh, economic and business environment in many African countries is also steadily improving, while institutions and governance have grown stronger from our observatories. But also trade flows, if you look all forecasts, both imports and exports are expected to grow by 30% in the next few years. Uh, we also have uh, many challenges, how to make this growth sustainable, how to have a broader and better innovation and research in the area, how to be ready to have more uh, cooperation and partnership and joint ventures. We will be talking about all of this in these couple of days. Um, and uh, again, South Africa in particular is nearly 20% of sub-Saharan Africa GDP and about 18% of its imports and 20% of its exports. So it's the largest inter-regional investor as a country and uh, number five at global level considering the magnitude of FDIs in Africa uh, in, the last, uh, in the last year. And we are talking about uh, more than $100 billion plans of investments in infrastructure programs. A number of our partners are already very active in infrastructure investments and they are also here to uh, celebrate good progresses in all of those areas. Uh, but also South Africa leads in innovation, ranks first in Africa in the Global Innovation Index and uh, we have calculated the number of researchers per million people in Africa which is the highest number indicating a country uh, paying a lot of attention to research and to innovation, which is the premise for every future, future, future growth. Uh, as Lynette said, Italy has been the top European investor in Africa in 2015, and we are stably in the top three position in the mix of the last few uh, years. Uh, and in globally, we are third after China and United Arab Emirates, uh, considering uh, the aggregate value of greenfield investments in Africa in the last two years. So it's a remarkable achievement, and we are glad that we are also supporting uh, this, this trend. Uh, and only in South Africa, we are talking about half a billion investments only last year, which is not a bad result uh, at all. 
the opportunities for the future, we believe, are even broader. And uh, uh, a major turning point is represented by the increasing number of large Italian companies that have decided to invest in Africa, localizing here their manufacturing, their logistics, their local partnerships. Uh, in South Africa alone, and among our partners for this summit, we have Magneto Automotive, Building Energy, Ferrovie, Lucchini, Terna, uh, that already activated investments or are about activating uh, investments as I have uh, mentioned. Such development can pave the way for other Italian players, a number of them, and in particular, uh, Italian small and medium-sized companies are ready to start investing in uh, SADC uh, countries, and they can use the major players' experience uh, as a trailblazer to engage with South Africa and African continent at large. A few numbers about Italy, just for everybody to position properly the country. We are first in the European Union considering the number of small and medium-sized enterprises. We have more than 400,000 small and medium-sized enterprises in manufacturing, which is the double than Germany, the double than France. Uh, among the only five countries globally with a manufacturing global balance above $100 billion is Italy. Uh, according to the Trade Performance Index of the UNCTAD, measuring the market shares by industries, by products by industries, uh, 15 industries are ranked and Italy is either first or second in uh, eight industries out of 15, uh, signaling a very strong competitive uh, attitude. Uh, we are second in Europe after Germ Germany in terms of value added in manufacturing overall. We are fourth in the world in terms of value of high-tech production and exports. We are first in Europe if we consider, and we are similar to South Africa in this particular case, the number of scientific references per researchers, meaning that the quality of our researchers is very, very high. And we also measured with our think tank team the scientific publications published globally in the last 20 years. Italy is the first country in the world in this special uh, ranking. So it's about innovation, it's about manufacturing, it's about small and medium enterprises, which we foresee a great, great uh, further opportunity of cooperation with uh, uh, relevant synergies and relevant, relevant opportunities. I hope you can see and experience throughout our summit the uh, particular know-how and savoir-faire from the European House and Brosetti. We have prepared a number of panels with a number of background materials and documents where we always want to uh, push it forward, the content side as well as the network and the exchange of views uh, side. And it's a special and unique format. I hope you will enjoy it through the two days with all the many contents that we will raise. There will also be a gala dinner tonight. You will receive further information about, about that. And uh, uh, my time is also over, so I wish you all fruitful work and a pleasant stay to our summit. Thank you for your attention and count on all the European House and Brosetti team for everything you may need here. Thanks a lot indeed. Thank you very much um, to our host this morning, Mr. Valerio um, Di Mole, for his um, insights into what he certainly hopes that as the Ambrosetti Group, what we will take home from this particular session, but more importantly, how we're going to use the linkage between the two countries and the economic activity to do a little bit better. Now, um, a session like this is not possible without partnership, and as you've heard, without people on the ground, who are joining the necessary dots and making sure that it moves into motion. And I have absolutely no doubt that our diplomatic community between the two countries has been very busy making sure that we are all here, we are all gathered, 
we have the information we need as well as the access and resources that we need to be here together. So the Ambassador of Italy to South Africa this morning, Mr. Pietro Donici is also here joining us on stage. Welcome, sir. And he would also like to give some remarks on behalf of the Italian government. Please give him a very warm round of applause. Thank you very much, Ms. Nutuli. Thank you also to Mr. Demonli. He relieved me from uh, the duty of uh, mentioning and thanking everybody here today. But uh, nevertheless, uh, uh, beside the Prime Minister, Premier Makura, I wish to especially thank uh, my good friend, uh, Ambassador Tambo, who is uh, my counterpart uh, in Rome. Uh, she will leave Italy, I think, in the next months. And, uh, but uh, I have to say that uh, we worked uh, together in a wonderful way in order to promote uh, uh, the relations between our two countries. And uh, for sure, uh, we shall miss you in Rome. And I suspect you will miss us also <laughs> in the capital where you will be posted. Uh, thank you also again to Mr. De Molli because he presented so well Italy that he relieved me again of one of my duties. Italy has the country we know, Italians ourselves, and as it is known all over, all around the world. So it is a country of beauty, of course, a country of good taste, of good taste but it is most of all a country of te technology, research, Mechatronics, a country whose exports, 50% uh, of uh, its exports uh, uh, lie within mechatronics uh, and uh, the fourth industrial uh, sector, the fourth sector. That is exactly the country uh, we are here to promote also in South Africa. Uh, this summit uh, is nowadays a regular feature of the landscape of the cooperation <coughs> sorry, between uh, 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 Italy and South Africa, and I would say Italy and the whole of Africa through South Africa. Africa is a cornerstone of the Italian foreign policy. Uh, last year, uh, we re had a restart with uh, a conference uh, which uh, uh, united uh, in Rome uh, uh, African leaders at the top level. It was in uh, May 2016. We are going on along this path. Uh, in a few weeks, uh, we are convened uh, in, uh, in Rome a conference uh, on African cities to which South Africa will be represented by the uh, Lord Mayor of uh, Ekuruleni that I think will join, he will join us uh, uh, today. And uh, that uh, is again uh, uh, a tangible uh, uh, sign of how much we value South Africa in itself and South Africa as, uh, I would say, a leader in, uh, in this region and uh, in Africa as a whole. Uh, our uh, uh, partnership, our relationship dates back to the period of the struggle that Italy and Italian people supported in the front line and today is witnessed, is witnessed by uh, the growth in trade uh, we have. By far the trade we enjoy together with South Africa is multiple uh, of that uh, we have with also many important African countries and uh, it is uh, among uh, the top uh, partners uh, we have uh, uh, all over the world. Uh, we conceive trade as a means, as a tool to strengthen the economies of both partners. We are not here to exploit everybody. We want to deplete anybody of its resources. We are looking for a partnership among equals. Uh, we are happy to say that the Italian economic presence here in South Africa is a driving force also for the development of South Africa, for South African industry, 
and for the whole African continent. Uh, just to give some facts and to show what is the pattern of our bilateral exchanges, what we export to South Africa are mainly capital goods, so machinery, vehicles, uh, chemicals, and uh, all systems that uh, improve uh, the productivity of the economy. On the other uh, side, Italy imports from South Africa processed raw materials and other productive inputs, which are of great importance to our industry because they contribute to our production as a transformation country. This mutually beneficial pattern is confirmed by Italian investments in South Africa. We focused in energy, infrastructure, machinery, chemical, agri-food, household appliances, the automotive sector, all items which I say it again, contribute to increase the production and the uh, productivity of these countries. We are aware of problems and hindrances that somehow slow down our interaction. Italian companies sometimes are baffled by the complexities of the local system, both juridical, legal, and administrative. And as we know, it is a factor that has a strong influence on, Italian, on, on investors' decisions. But we think that all this can be easily, with some effort, or at least with some effort, overcome. We, every day, look for solution with a cooperative approach, establishing contacts, links, dialogue, when uh, useful also through the embassy, with our local partners, our local uh, interlocutors, trying to know uh, each other better uh, on, uh, of course, uh, through mutual respect and, uh, and, uh, and mutual understanding. To this aim, the embassy, with the help of South Af with some South African ministries, with the, the help of some uh, 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 South African uh, authorities, uh, we started with a series of meetings which are targeted to Italian companies and which are aimed at improving the understanding among Italian investors of South African policies and to make sure that the views, the concerns, and the interests of our companies are heard. In this effort of improving and promoting the mutual knowledge between the two countries and the operators, economic operators, business operators of the two countries, we can count upon the Italian-South African community. As we know, our Italians, which are also South Africans, are established here since many and many years. And nowadays, they form an integral part of South African society and economy. We work together with them in order to make the two countries more and more uh, nearer. As I said, and I stress again and again, this is a partnership among equals with both countries boasting their advanced productive systems. That's the reason why we put special and real emphasis on scientific and technological research. This year, next year, in 2018, 2018, we shall mark the 20th anniversary of our bilateral uh, agreement for cooperation in the field of science and technology. In the meantime, we increased uh, the budget that we devote to the implementation of, uh, of this agreement, and uh, next year, uh, 2018, we registered, we recorded a fourfold increase 
of the financial means thanks to an equal uh, contribution made by the two countries. Uh, the sectors, I like to, to mention the sectors we shall, wor we shall, wor we shall work uh, uh, on together. Biotechnology, medicine and health, nanotechnology, new advanced materials, information and communication technology, green and renewable energies, environment, physics, astrophysics, radio astronomy. As you can see, this is an agreement which is tantamount we sign with uh, many advanced countries. In the new executive program, thanks to the fourfold increase in, uh, in, uh, in finance means, we are about to support 14 projects. And again, they are in the field of biotechnologies, integrated and sustainable water management, the blue economy, space, astrophysics, and radio astronomy. This means that Italian companies and uh, above all Italian uh, research, researchers, academicians, will work together, South African researchers, academicians, and high technologies companies in order to extract the most uh, benefits, most benefits from, uh, from, uh, from this activity together. In uh, uh, December, we shall work together, Gauteng and other uh, South African government bodies, uh, in order to convene a special meeting devoted to aerospace industry, technology, and research. This will take place in Pretoria with the help of uh, uh, a bit of ministries uh, from the central government of South Africa in Gauteng province uh, itself. The next uh, appointment uh, of this kind of research and business will be in the agro-business. Uh, and we already booked Emilia Romagna, assessor, uh, local minister, Simona Caselli, who today is with us, to give also a contribution, a scientific, a business contribution to the success of this meeting in agro-business. One last word. We are talking of business, we are talking of research, we are talking of technology, which are very, very important sectors because increase, they increase production and also the, the welfare of people. Uh, but uh, I stress to understand now our long-standing attention for social issues. We have uh, companies here, but uh, all our companies are very well aware that uh, what is business-oriented must be also focused on uh, uh, society and uh, community. Uh, all of our, our companies, beside their investment, they have also a, a, a social project, more than one social project devoted to the community uh, they work and live with and to their workers. Uh, our companies uh, know very well that uh, beside business to business, uh, the system cannot work without people to people. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much to the ambassador to Italy in South Africa, Mr. Tonici, for his words and his emphasis on some of the key priority sectors that this community, as well as collaboration, hopes to reinforce as well as to strengthen going forward into the future. Next to me um, is another power lady, the ambassador of South Africa to Italy. As we've already heard from her counterpart, she is on her way out, but certainly I hope, ma'am, that this is a high note for you to leave on um, as we express some of the wins and the achievements between the economies of South Africa and Italy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the podium and the microphone, Ms. Nomatem Batambo, who is the ambassador of South Africa to Italy. And honorable ministers and deputy ministers, Premier David Makura, Dr. Valeria Demoli, 
My dear friend Paolo Bozata, Your Excellencies, members of the Diplomatic Corps, distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, this is the fourth edition of the European House of Ambrosetti's initiative in South Africa, and it is such a huge achievement that we are here again, um, working together, collaborating together. It is an honor for me, as always, to be present and to uh, be part of the opening session and to make a few remarks. My remarks this year, though, are not going to be particularly substantive because I won't be here to follow up on them next year. Um, what I would like to do is just make some brief comments and also then to introduce you to the Ambassador-designate for Italy. This year, um, as many of you will know, is the centenary of my father. Um, so for me, this is a particularly poignant moment, and I'm happy that this uh, initiative, this summit, is actually happening in his month. Uh, for me, it's a celebration, not just of my father, but also of the tremendous work that the European House of Ambrosetti has done in bringing South African government and Italian government together, in bringing our business leaders together, and in working very hard to make sure that we are seen as uh, two regions who are truly talking about collaboration. The Italians have got a very particular way of doing business. Um, they move with um, thoroughness, they move with integrity, but they also move with a great deal of passion. And I think that, um, Dr. De Molli, uh, your think tank embodies that very, very well. In the past four years, uh, various government and economic actors have used this summit as a crucial platform for fruitful and open discussions about how we can strengthen trade and investment opportunities between South Africa and Italy. I am pleased that our engagements have been expanded to also include high-level representatives from our region, and I'm so thrilled to see that SADC is so well represented here. As you are well aware, it is difficult to discuss the economics of South Africa and Italy without also discussing the role that the SADC region has to play, and I welcome them here to this forum. Ladies and gentlemen, bilateral trade between Italy and South Africa continues to grow despite difficult market conditions, both domestically and globally. This also includes an increase of almost 5 billion rand in South Africa's ex exports to Italy between 2015 uh, and 2016, and I can confirm that South African fresh produce has now almost become a permanent feature in most Italian supermarkets. Bilateral trade is expected to increase more due to the historic EU SADC um, economic partnership agreement, which was entered into last October. Company representatives who are present here will provide more information regarding the investments by Italian companies in South Africa and why that may have somewhat slowed. However, there is a deep interest and willingness to further collaborate between <clears throat> our governments, and it is expressed and it is expected that in light, in light of this, a more emphasis will be placed on pushing future economic development between our two countries. Next month, the South African Embassy in Rome will host a conference on financial and economic matters, and this will be another platform for various high-level South African and Italian actors to have a dialogue about challenges and victories in our respective financial sectors, including banking. Having said that, we cannot forget the importance of SMEs in furthering more effective collaborations between our two countries. We are also ident identifying ways to link South African provinces with Italian regions for further discussions on possible economic twinning agreements. Mr. Premier, I'm sure you will agree with me that several visits undertaken by the Gauteng delegations since your visit to Italy in 2015 are preparations once again to concretize cooperation between Italy and South Africa. Let me emphasize that we need to continue empowering and, enrich and enriching both our peoples, including our youth, with the aim of eventually stimulating both our economic, um, economic development even further. 
I hope this summit will give us the opportunity to continue to increase and strengthen the areas of cooperation for mutual benefit. And at this point, I would like to introduce Ambassador-designate, Ambassador Shirish Soni. Will you come up and introduce yourself? Thank you. I'm on the verge of preparing to leave for Rome. I should be there uh, by early January. <clears throat> uh, some background, of, uh, I've been the head of mission to Kazakhstan, uh, representing four countries in Eurasia. Uh, currently, I'm the head of mission in Qatar. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, this posting, and please be assured, that I would continue on the good work that both the ambassadors have been doing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much um, to our ambassador, to South African ambassador um, in Italy, Ms. Tambo, for her words, as well as the kind introduction to her successor, who we certainly hope will continue this dialogue and this cooperation. I loved the three areas that she touched on about how the Italians move, integrity with detail as well as passion. And long may those three traits live and reign between the two countries as we grow this partnership further. Um, and to my final speaker on the panel this morning, um, our host in the South African powerhouse of our economy, the Premier, Mr. David Makuro. Certainly for the members in our audience who are South African, a man who needs little introduction, but for the benefits of everybody else, a man who is acutely conscious and acutely passionate about the needs to drive economic growth, collaboration. We are here in this room today because this summit was moved from Cape Town to Gauteng through his own initiative and recognition that it was important for this conversation to take care to take place in the hub of economic activity in South Africa. So, sir, thank you very much this morning for hosting us in the Gauteng province, and we look forward to your opening remarks. Please, can you give him a round of applause? Now, as he opens, there is a video that we would like to bring your attention to on the Gauteng province. Enjoy.
thank you very much, uh, Lynette. Uh, we, we have a, a full list of very distinguished uh, ambassadors. I wouldn't want to make a mistake of leaving anyone. I would like to acknowledge all the ambassadors and high commissioners who are here, uh, led by uh, the outgoing uh, Ambassador Tambo. Uh, and uh, Ambassador Donishi has uh, freshly arrived. It's, it's not long that he's been here. Uh, the delegation of uh, ministers from the SADC region and former ministers who are here, including governors and uh, ministers of uh, the Italian region, Emilia Romana and Erongo in Namibia, our executive mayor of Ekuruleni and the mayor of uh, uh, the Deputy Mayor of uh, Reggio Emilia, who are also here, distinguished business leaders, ladies and gentlemen, heads of uh, state-owned enterprises. On behalf of the people and the government of our province, I welcome you to this fourth edition of the South Africa-Italy Summit. As you know, this is the second year that this important summit is taking place, hosted by our city region here in Johannesburg, having been relocated from Cape Town. Once more, I congratulate the summit partners, the European House Ambrosetti, uh, Mr. Paolo Borzata and uh, uh, Valerio, uh, having worked very closely with our team led by our DG for uh, a very successful summit uh, once more. Uh, this summit marks our enduring partnership and uh, the road we are win uh, towards a mutually beneficial relationship. The economic, diplomatic, political, and cultural relations between South Africa and Italy are quite historic and significant. Italy is the fourth largest economy in the Eurozone area. As I said last year, there are 60,000 South Africans of Italian origin, 70% of whom live in our province. Gauteng. Moving the summit from Cape Town to Johannesburg was not just a change of location. It has created momentum for the South Africa-Italy relations as well as increased trade relations between the European Union on the one hand and the country, countries in the SADC region on the other. And I'm very pleased that like last year, we have a significant number of ministers uh, who are participating here from Zambia, Zimbabwe, uh, and Namibia. And their presence together with the Executive Secretary of SADC is something that we fully uh, appreciate. As you might notice, there's been more value that is, has been added to the relocation of this summit. It is no longer just a two-day event. This summit is now weaved into what we call the South Africa Italy Week. So it's not just two days, unlike in Cape Town, it was just two days. Now it's a full week, and this year is a full week uh, that coincides with the centenary of Oliver Tambo, one of South Africa's most revered liberation icons, a great friend of the people of the city of Reggio Emilia in Italy. So you, you therefore should understand why we have a huge delegation of political leaders, business people, sports people, as well as educational experts from the city of Reggio Emilia and the region of Emilia Romana led by Minister Caselli, who are here for the whole week this year. They are here to solidify the friendship and solidarity between the people of our country and the people of Italy and this is a, a friendship started by President Oliver Tambo and Giuseppe Soncini in 1977 in Reggio Emilia, expressing his gratitude to the people of the city of Reggio Emilia in a letter written in his own handwriting. Oliver Tambo had this to say, and I quote, we always carry Reggio Emilia in our hearts. When we speak of Italy, we cannot but think of Reggio Emilia. We are linked with the profound attachment and immense gratitude that is hard to put into words, close quote. In the same vein, we also recall the overwhelming support of the people of Italy 
to the struggle for liberation in our country and the celebration of the centenary of Oliver Tambo is to thank the people of Italy for their support during the darkest days of apartheid. You would also know that the city of Florence, a city that gave Nelson Mandela the honorary citizenship in 1987, is the second city that mobilized people in Italy against apartheid. In 1998, President Mandela had this to say about the solidarity of the people of Italy with the struggle for liberation in our country. And I quote, when I last visited your country, I came as a freedom fighter, a person with no vote in the country of his birth. Today, I speak as an elected representative of my people to convey on behalf of all South Africans our gratitude to the people of Italy for your steadfast support in our fight for justice. Without your efforts and those of freedom-loving people across the world, our struggle would have been more difficult than it was, and it would have been more costly." Close quote. As part of celebrating this solidarity, we shall have the Tambo Soncini Social Cohesion Games on Saturday. And last year, we opened the Bruna, Bruna Soncini Library in Watville as a dedication to this friendship. So the summit focuses us on the key issues of economic relations, inclusive growth, economic transformation, and mutually beneficial trade. Through this summit, we want to build on the, the history I've referred to by strengthening mutually beneficial economic and trade relations between our sister countries and sister regions, both in Italy and in different parts of Europe, as well as in the SADC region. Ladies and gentlemen, trade between South Africa and Italy is currently skewed in favor of Italy, a picture that we all know needs to change. This is even more so if you look at the figures for our province, which I, I wouldn't take you into. Uh, you will have a, you'll hear a lot from the experts who are here about those figures. So we have no doubt that this summit, as well as the memorandum of agreement we have signed with Emilia Romana region and the relationship between Ekuruleni city and Reggio Emilia are part of this momentum of turning the tide against unemployment, inequality, and poverty, the momentum for economic transformation in our country. We wish to place on record that the comprehensive agreement we have, we have signed with Reggio Emilia and Emilia Romana is an example for all other agreement, co cooperation agreements we have. It involves business people, which is why this summit over the next two days will be focusing on these issues of business and economic uh, development and economic opportunities. But it also involves the ECD sector, early childhood development with what is called the radio approach to early childhood development. It involves sports personalities in our midst. It also involves training of SMMEs and cooperatives in line with our vision and program for the township economy development. We are focusing critically on agriculture and agro-processing and research and development as well as climate change and renewable energy. Ladies and gentlemen, we are hoping that we will emerge from this summit with a set of concrete agreements as we did last year that will see us ensuring that this summit is not just a talk show, but there are re there's real progress in addressing the, the challenges that we face, both as a country and as a region in, in our continent. This summit is therefore helping us to advance our vision for transformation, modernization, and industrialization of both our, our country and our continent. Gauteng province, as you know, is already playing a very important role in trade and investment in our own continent. The figures for August 2017 are quite pleasing that there are more than 169 Gauteng-based businesses that have 365 investment projects worth 356 billion rands across the 
the regions of our continent, particularly in, sub, in the SADC region. These projects have created more than 45,000 jobs. So our province is a preferred destination for FDI and business tourism. We are open for business. And I take this opportunity to wish the 2017 summit success and hope it will enhance trade relations between South Africa, the SADC region, our continent, Italy, and the broader continental Europe. It is therefore my great honor to declare this year's South Africa-Italy summit officially open. Let us look forward. We will never go back to, to Cape Town because this is where things are happening. Welcome to Johannesburg. Welcome to Gauteng. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to the Premier of the Gauteng province, Mr. Makura, for his words of welcome and for officially declaring this summit now open today. Three words for me that have caught my attention and I certainly hope we'll begin to throw them forward into the next few sessions. How do we maintain momentum? How do we create the impact that the summit aims to? And how do we make sure that we are staying on course in terms of competitiveness in the age of industrialization, automation, artificial in, um, intelligence, and so much more innovation that is dictating the trends of what it means to grow an economy today?